Hello everyone and welcome back to Whimsy Creek Art. Alright, today I have a review. I was given a new product, a new, um, I guess I'll use it as a pouring medium. And this would be in place of the Floetrol. But um, this is very liquidy, so we'll see how this works. But um, I believe this is M1 or MI, I'm not real sure. It was given me to me to try. I was told it was very similar to the Floetrol product that I usually use as my pouring medium. And so um, I have some cups of paint here. And so I have white. Well, let me go ahead and add some of this in here. Now I've never used this before, so let's see how this works. Um, it is very liquidy. Uh, it's got a blue tint to it. Okay, interesting. We'll see how this works. So I'm using um, four colors of my cheap uh, acrylic colors. Uh, this is titanium white. This is my very favorite brand of paint to pour with. It's called cheap paint. And so we have titanium white. We also have uh, phthalo blue magenta and then also turquoise okay so let me get some of this added into each one of these i'm not exactly sure honestly how much to use of this this is my first time but i was told to use it in place it was similar to floetrol um this was given to me to review so let's see how this works it is um I mean the consistency of water so Floetrol as you know is a little bit thicker consistency let's see how this um, mixes up here okay I can tell you that I would have definitely used quite a bit less of um, the additive there uh, it is very very liquidy okay we're gonna need quite a bit more paint here let me add a little bit um, some more paint and I have just ceramic four inch tiles we're gonna use those those are pretty cheap to kind of experiment with things like this okay very fluid very liquidy um, I can tell that this would not honestly for me be a great alternative to Floetrol I mean, we'll see if we get fantastic results, amazing results. I mean, it might be, but um, it would be very expensive. I feel like I would use a lot more paint ratio to pouring medium than what I normally would use. And the Floetrol is very affordable and I don't have to use quite so much paint. Okay, so it's mixing in there. Um, I did have to mix, mix, mix quite a bit to get it mixed in there. Now let's see, I probably will have to add more paint to these ones, but let me get these all mixed. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this, get these mixed, and then I'll come back to you to do the actual pour. All right, everyone, I do have all four colors all mixed up. And as I suspected, you do have to use quite a bit more paint to pouring medium ratio than what my normal paint recipe will be. And I usually use Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium, a mixture of both. And I do have a video on my paint recipe, so I'll link that below. And so for what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these four tiles. First off, I have no silicone in this at all. So I'm gonna do the first one here with no silicone. And then the, I will add a little bit of silicone to a couple of the colors, and then I'll do the other three with silicone just to kind of try both ways see what see what kind of cells we get with no silicone and then add a little silicone in and see what we get all right just dirt, gonna do a dirty pour just layering a little bit of paint here in each of the cups all right um maybe just a little bit more white okay that should be enough and so i'm gonna do this back one here and I'm just gonna do a dirty pour kind of diagonally here. Okay, I do like um, the colors did stay very vibrant. Um, I hope that's coming off on camera well uh, when it's mixed with the, this um, brand of pouring medium. 
All right, so let me just get this on each. So we have very few cells, but we do have a few popped up without the silicone. And as you guys have seen on some of my other videos, I do get quite a few cells with um, just Floetrol. I've got a couple of kind of goober spots kind of looking. Okay, now let's get this back to the middle a little bit. All right, so that's what we got from no silicone. Let me just wipe this. I got a couple of drops there. Let me wipe that off so we can have a nice fresh one for the next. Okay, I do see a couple of air bubbles. I will go ahead and just, oh, okay. We did get a little bit of cell action. Not really, I would say cell action, kind of just some white dots popped up after that where the air bubbles had popped. All right, so I use treadmill oil and I'm going to take, I'm not going to put any in the white, but the three colors, I'm going to put one drop of this 100% silicone treadmill oil in each of the three colors, but I'm not going to put any in white. Okay, that was a very small drop in that last one, so put a little bit more. And I mix this up. Um, not that much I mean not I don't mix it a ton I know different people have um, some mix it a ton some don't okay so this pouring medium one thing I am noticing it is kind of stronger fumes than I'm used to with Floetrol or the Liquitex pouring medium or my regular acrylic paints I normally don't have really um, much of a smell or much of fumes this I, I do I have a little bit of fumes here so that's one thing I would mention with this type of pouring medium so I'm going to do another um, dirty pour so I'm just kind of layering some colors in here so this pouring medium again I will mention was given to me so it's just uh, for me to review and see what I think, what I like about it. And so once this video is done, I will do another video in about a week to let you all know how, how they dried, what they look like drying. But for now, we'll just see how they look wet. They are quite vibrant and colorful, but there is quite a few, a little bit of fumes here. which I don't really like that. All right, let me take this back one and I put my hand on an L, bring it to the corner. Kind of a little bit back to the middle. Turn it to the other side, bring it down an L again, back to the center. And then you can just pinch to this, kind of get the edges real good. Okay, I'm not seeing too much cell action. I did put the treadmill oil, the silicone, and the three colors. But that's all right, you know. Not every time you're going for, you know, cells. Uh, sometimes I really enjoy the pores that have no cells. And then sometimes I really do want that look with the cells. So that's okay. Sometimes, oh, okay. Okay, wow definitely needed a little bit of torch and then definitely get the cell action there okay awesome good to know and some beautiful cells at that I have um, I'll give you a close-up when I get all done with all, th all three of these last ones quite a bit of oh knocked that over okay I knocked one of them over but caught it in time Okay, let's get this to the edge. All right. Let me wipe my hands off real quick, grab the torch up. So, all right, that is nice cell action here. I'll give a close up in just a moment. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. 
that is that did turn out pretty nice all right okay some surprising results there I actually was not expecting that So I hope these dry well. I have never used this pouring medium, so that'll be interesting to see as well how they dry. But so far, let me go ahead and get that. Okay, so it's definitely the silicone makes the difference here. Just wow, okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let me get you guys down and for a close up. All right, here is the close-ups. Wow, they are really pretty. So here, uh, back here is the one that we put no silicone. And these other three are the three that do have silicone. So look how beautiful that cells. Um, very uniform, nice cell action there. A lot of colors coming up through uh, with the cells. So definitely would suggest the silicone with this pouring medium. 